ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆ ਵੈਰੀ ਵਾਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਐਂਟਾਇਰ ਸੰਗਤ ਇਨ ਟੂਡੇਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਆ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਫੋਰ ਟੂਡੇ ਇਸ ਐਸ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਸ਼ੈਲ ਯੂ ਰੀਡ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਅਕੋਰਡਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਸੇਮ ਇਨ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਦੇ ਸੇ ਜੈਸੀ ਕਰਨੀ ਵੈਸੀ ਭਰਨੀ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਜੇਹਾ ਬੀਜੈ ਸੋ ਲੂਣਾ ਹੈ ਤੋ ਮੀਨਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਸੇਮ ਲੈਂਗੁਏਜ ਇਜ਼ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਬਟ ਦ ਮੇਨ ਫੋਕਸ ਇਜ਼ ਔਨ ਆਵਰ ਐਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਾਟ ਐਵਰ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ एवरीथिंग ਕਮਸ ਅੰਡਰ ਥੈਟ ਸੋ ਟੁਡੇ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ as you so so shall you reap it doesn't apply on everyone that we will discuss good and bad will be, will be the result A relation between so and habit this is related associated with habits as well and don't perform an action that you will regret in the end although we are aware about our all those actions still we do those kind of actions again and again even if we are aware about it then why do we sow the seeds of bad deeds again and again over and over again so why we are doing it what could be the reason in the light of qurbani that we will try to understand in our today's talk the statement as you sow so shall you reap basically this statement tells us about the freedom the freedom that we have this freedom is only available with humans animals don't have this kind of statement animals don't get, have this kind of freedom they are bound to do something although they have life but still they are bound to do they don't have freedom to sow anything so that they can reap and this rule doesn't apply on birds on plants all are completely bound in the law of nature whatever nature wants them to do they are just following it but whenever it comes to the human then we have freedom to do freedom to sow freedom to sow but we don't have freedom to reap whatever we are going to sow we will get the same guru nanak sahib ji tells us ape beej ape hi khao in outer world we do see one person is doing farming but another person is eating that grain maybe a farmer did farming in india but we are eating that grain in singapore in us in canada it's possible so in outer world we see someone else is doing someone else is sowing but another person is able to eat but in our actions ape beej ape hi khao but here whatever we are doing we are the one who is going to have the taste of that medicine taste of our actions taste of our deeds so it's kind of a warning as well whatever we are doing make sure or think about it before we perform anything before we do anything ape beej the one who is farmer ape hi khao he is the one who is going to eat 
he cannot eat someone else field as well and if he is doing something no one can help us we can see the same kind of story in shin guru nanak sahib ji's life as well in his childhood the time he was just in the field he had some buffaloes and cows with him what happened they went into someone else field and they ate a lot of flowers and fruits whatever was there then that person he reached complained about it that buffaloes and cows of guru nanak had eaten the grain of my field story says this sakhi says when guru nanak sahib ji went there with his father and all other people the that field was perfectly fine it was completely fine grain was available field was just like before it was just like as never happened anything there so it was kind of a message if you are doing something another person cannot eat even it's good or bad in outer world it's possible but in our spiritual path in on the path of almighty whatever we are doing we will eat the same aap pe beech aap pe hi khao but we have one demerit we can say we always like to give responsibility to someone else we are never ready to take any responsibility we always ready to say it happened because of another person it happened because of that person i did not do it if something bad happens we are always ready to blame on someone else and if we don't get someone else then we are ready to blame on lord it's just god's mistake not my he is not doing right with me so pagati lochan is telling us narayan nindas kae puli gavari narayan narayan means lot it was the statement from pagatri lochan for his wife the moment she was just complaining about lot because he did not have any child in the family and he got one servant and according to sakhi god himself came into their house as a servant and just said don't say any bad words about me don't criticize me so till that time i'll be here but wife of pagatir lochan ji did it and then that child left the house then she was complaining to pagatir lochan ji you are just reciting the name of the lord and we don't have anything then pagatir lochan ji said these lines to his wife narayan nindas you are saying bad words about lord kai why you are doing it puli gavari you don't have knowledge you are not in your senses you don't know what you are talking about dukrit sukrit tharo karamri pain or pleasure dukrit even something bad is happening sukrit if something good is happening it is because of my deeds whatever i am doing all things are coming back it may take some time it is possible we did something bad to one another person but the same thing happened with us from someone else because it's like a chain but we don't understand it in the nature if we try to understand whatever we are doing that remains always but however we are doing that also remains for example if someone stole someone's mobile phone if someone has stolen a diamond diamond is going to be here maybe forever till the time this earth is here but we just uh, we are here 
for some short time, not forever, maybe for 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 years. But our action that is going to be here forever, even after our death, people will say he was a thief, he was a robber. It happens. Even today, if someone did something bad in the past, even from the history, the one who were standing on the right path, we are still praising those people. We are still going down to them. We are still reciting the name of the Lord. We are still remembering those saints, those sages, the one who did good things. So if we know whatever we are going to do, that action will remain with us, but not that thing. If someone stole a mobile phone, after a few years, maybe someone else will be the owner of that phone. But that action is going to belong with the same person. So if we know, whatever we are going to sow, we will have to reap the same thing. So Guru Amar Das is telling us, Aisa kam mulle na kiche, jit ant pacho taye. Don't do anything if you know you will regret in the end. So don't sow anything. If you know thorns are going to come or flowers. If we think basically we are much aware about it. We know what is good, what is bad. But still we do it. So it's like a warning for us. Aisa kam mule na kiche. So while performing any action, just make sure, am I doing or am I sowing for flowers, for fruits, for vegetables, or I'm sowing thorns? It's completely depend on us. We have freedom. Animals don't have birds, don't have plants, don't have freedom. Only human beings have the freedom to sow anything. And this nature is like who multiplies it. Seed is so small, but tree is huge. So whenever we are performing any action, make sure we will not get the same amount. Whenever we are performing any deed, just remember, we will not get in the same amount. Nature of the nature is it multiplies. Seed is small, tree is huge, but that tree become became because of that seed only seed was small maybe we are not there are many seeds which are so we can say according to the size wise so small maybe we are not able to see them clearly so seed could be very small but the nature of nature it it multiplies So make sure before performing any action, because we are going to get whatever we are going to sow. This is law of nature. God, the Lord, this nature has a law. Even if I put seed of an apple, I will not get carrot from it. If seed is of apple, I will get apple. If seed is of mango, I will get mango. So according to the seed, I will get the same fruit or vegetable or thorns. It depends whatever I am doing. So make sure before hurting someone, if we are going, if we are sowing seeds of thorns, it will multiply. 
if we are giving some happiness to someone, if we are putting some flowers, it will also multiply. So make sure before performing any action. Now, the problem is we forget. Even in our house, we don't remember what all things do we have. Someday on Diwali or somewhere else, if we are cleaning our house so deeply, then we just realize, oh my God, I had this thing as well. I forgot it. Even I did not remember, I had these all things as well. So we have a habit to forget of forgetting few things. But nature have a habit. Nature don't forget anything. We forget. Nature don't. It's possible. We put some seeds in the field and forget it. Nature will not forget. Each and every seed is going to come as a tree. And in the nature, it's possible. Some seeds may don't grow as a tree. But in our life, in our spiritual life, in our life, whatever we are going to do, every seed will have fruit. Every seed. Ape beach, ape hika. In the nature, there are some seeds. Those grow so quickly. Spinach, green onions, and many more. Those who just take three to four weeks or four to six weeks, and then we can get benefit of it. But still, there are some fruits. Those who take long time, like apple, it takes at least two years, at least up to five years. It depends on the quality, depends on the situation, depends on the field, depends on the climate. A lot of things matters, but it takes up to five years. So the seed will give fruit. It's possible even in one month. It's possible even in five years. The same happens with our actions. Sometimes we get a result immediately. If I put my hand on the fire, I'll get immediate result. If I put my hand on ice, I'll get immediate result. Sometimes some flowers, some fruits take some time. And the beauty of nature, nature don't forget. We may forget our seed, but nature taught. In the book of Mirdad, it's a book. Book is about question and answers. In that book, the book of Mirdad, a person asked, to a saint. His father was not well. His father was facing some problems in that book. And he asked to a saint, messenger of Lord, my father haven't done anything bad. Still, he is facing some problems. Why is it happening? Then this character named Mirdad, he also gave the same example to him. He said, it's possible we just did something to someone. Maybe we, we stole something and we forgot it. Maybe we hurt someone and we forgot it. Maybe we did a lot of bad things for someone, but we didn't even feel about it. We may forget, but nature don't. It multiplies, it comes back to us, and we just start complaining then, I haven't done anything bad. Why does this happen to me? So the solution is we have to be acceptive. We just need to accept definitely something happened. That is why I'm getting. If I'm happy, definitely I bring some happiness in someone's life. If I'm in pain, make sure or give satisfaction definitely I did something bad for someone else too. Someone, maybe someone was crying because of me. And today, I'm also facing some problems. 
So this is the only solution. Also, we can say we have done it. We are getting it. If we are not accepting it, then it becomes more painful. The moment we can become acceptive, it is acceptive. It will help us. It will bring some more pleasure. It will bring some calmness in our life. So the same way, in the nature, some deeds react so immediately, but some fruits takes time. And it's possible we just forget about it. Maybe I have done something bad 10 years before or 5 years before and that things may come next to me now. Consequences we do see in our life as well. Something happened one day and that may change our entire life. So the thing is that we are discussing we may forget uh, what did we sow, but nature will not forget whatever we sow, we have to reap. It may take a month, it may take one year, it may take few years, it may take some time, but make sure it will come back to me. And if I know, as we discussed, whatever I'm going to do, it will come back. So while doing any bad thing, make sure we can create some gap. According to research, I was reading an article. They said, whenever we want to do something good or bad, it is just moment of the heat, or we can say heat of the moment, sir. So it's just a heat of the moment. Whenever we want to do something good or bad, immediately we can do it. If we postpone, we may not do it. It's possible. I was reading a writer, Mark Twain. He mentioned in his autobiography. He mentioned about him. He said, he went to a religious place. He was listening to a preacher. The way he was speaking, he got so impressed. He said, I'll donate $1,000 here according to Mark Twain. The moment he was listening and he was so happy, he was so delighted and said, I will donate at least $1,000. After five minutes, he thought 1,000 is a big amount. I can just donate $100. That is also not a small amount. The moment it was about to come, Later, he thought and he saw many people were just donating $1 and he said $1 is also enough. And he ended up by donating nothing. He did not donate. He started with 1000 The more he was thinking, he ended up with not doing any kind of any donation. Research says, whenever we postpone something, or start thinking a lot, the chances of no is more if that is a good thing, mostly. And the same rule applies on the bad things as well. Research says if someone is about to commit suicide, for example, if you can just spend those four or five minutes with him, I'm not showing it's 100% it works, but possibility. So, if in that heat moment, if we can just talk to him, divert his mind. For example, he's just standing, he's just about to jump. We can just stop in and ask what happened. Okay, all right, as you plan, you may commit suicide, but can we share something? What happened? I'm here to listen to you. Research says it's possibility he may change his mind because that was just heat of the moment. The so same thing happens in good things and as well as bad things. If someone abused you, you just want to reply immediately. Because you know, if you postpone, that's not possible. For example, if someone abused me today and if I think, I'll get back to you after 24 hours, I'll tell you tomorrow. Tomorrow it's not possible, we know. That is why we reply immediately and we say, we'll see whatever will happen. Now I'll not let you go. Guzraev, he mentioned about it. 
his father was about to die and father of guzref he said <coughs> even whenever you feel angry don't reply immediately take at least 24 hours to reply give me this promise his father was about to die he did not have any other option he had to give this promise all right whenever i'll feel angry i'll take at least 24 hours to reply and he mentioned after 24 hours many times he realized that another person was speaking the truth as someone told him you are a liar in 24 hours he realized yes i am a liar i don't speak truth each and every time he is right gujref says many times he went to the that same person and said thanks to you the moment you said it i thought about it you were right i am a thief i stole i have stolen few things i am a liar and many time he realized no need to reply even because that thing doesn't belong to me so if we can take some gap if we can take some time while doing bad thing that will help us and while doing good things don't delay this is what fifth guru guru arjan sahib ji is telling us in slok sanskritis nah bilamb bilamb means delaying don't delay nah means do not bilamb means delay tarmang means doing any good thing bilamb delay is also needed but when papang whenever you planned about doing something bad try to postpone as much as you can because it's possibility you may not do it so just remember whatever we are doing we gonna get the same so try to avoid doing bad things try to postpone your anger try to postpone your bad thoughts because once we do it something the nature of nature is to multiply it and give it back to us in the field in the outer world it's possible we may not get it whatever we sow but here in our deeds it's not possible so whatever we do we will get it so make sure we try to avoid it as if we are throwing a ball on a wall it will come back if i throw a ball more fastly more quickly it will come more quickly if i slow if i am pushing that ball so slowly it will come slowly so whatever i am going to do i will get the same if one person is hurting or disturbing his wife doesn't mean he is just disturbing his wife his wife is also going to disturb him automatically if she is sad if she is not happy in the house boy cannot be as well both are connected so these things are happening in the world whenever we are hurting someone it will come back so make sure our actions make sure whatever we are doing must try to do good with others as guru nanak sahib ji also went to pai lalo's house not malik pagwa's house although malik pagwa was one of the richest person but still guru nanak sahib ji went to the one who was the one of the poorest person and had food in the poorest person not in the richest person why because the richest person used to kill people to get money used to steal money but this poor person was having honest earning so perform our works do whatever we want to but try to 
perform good things honest earning this is also needed so good deeds are much required and whenever we are doing one good deeds it also gets multiplied fruits seed of a fruit also gives us many fruits not seed if we are putting a seed in the earth we don't get seeds only we get flowers we get fruits so make sure now the main thing that could be the reason why we are performing bad deeds again and again although we all are aware what are good deeds and what are bad deeds we know even if we know still people are ready to do bad deeds again and again this could be the reason paap karhe pancha ke basre tirath nahi kahe sab utre the thing is as gurbani is telling us in each and every topic again and again the same things but by the different ways so we are thinking we can do bad things whatever we want and then we can go to temple we can go to gurudwara bow down give some donation help do some seva and get rid of and again we can do bad things once again पाप करे पंचा के बस रे तीरथ नाये कहे सब उतरे बोहर बोहर मीन्स अगैन द थिंग इज वी आर थिंकिंग वी हैव अ वे वी कैन डू अनलिमिटेड बैड थिंग्स बिकॉज वी हैव हर्ड दो कैंड ऑफ स्टोरीज इवन इन द लास्ट टाइम वंस यू से वाई ग्रो स्टिल इट इज ओके सो दैट अलाउ अस टू डू बैड थिंग्स नो आई एम नॉट कंडेमिंग एनी अदर स्टोरीज साकीस we are just focused on topic paap kare panchang ke basre because of those five thieves because of lust because of anger because of greed because of attachment we are performing bad deeds and later we think we regret again and but we perform again पाप करे पंचा के पसरे तीरथ नाहे कहे सब उतरे सो देन पीपल थिंक वंस आई गो टू पिलग्रिमेज वंस आई गो टू टेम्पल वंस आई गो टू रिलीजियस प्लेस विच मीन्स आई हैव वॉस्ट ऑल माई सेंस सो इट इज वेरी इजी डू वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू गो टू टेम्पल डोनेट समथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल पीपल those who are robbing people or another people they just try think little amount should be donated at a religious place and they think now they have covered whatever they have done is it really that easy but whenever we are thinking whenever we are understanding we can just do one good things and then we can cover all of our bad deeds so that opens the gate to do more bad deeds automatically because earlier i did it i have washed it i found a way to wash my bad deeds so that encourage me to do more bad deeds automatically because i can wash it i have a shirt i can wash it i can wear it same way we think i have this body i can do bad deeds go to temple wash your hands go spend 5 10 minutes wash your all bad deeds and sins wow again fresh now again we are ready gurbani stani bohar kamave then what we do again bohar again kamave again we are doing the same things koi nisang nisang without fear no shyness feel happy comfortable but if we are doing or thinking in that way then guru ji is telling us that don't gonna work in the way that we are thinking the real story is different our imagination is different
bahar kamave ho in a sank again we are earning those kind of bad deeds and we are thinking i already got rid of from my previous bad deeds because i have done something good jampur band khare kalank kalank but you will be bound you will be called as a sinner you are not spotless you are not stainless you are not immaculate you are dirty so we are just thinking that don't work in that way so this could be the reason we think we can wash it so easily but just remember again and again ape beej ape hi khao whatever we are performing we are going to get it in feel it's possible we may say no to our food for example if i don't want to eat tonight i may say i don't want to have it all right even if i want to postpone or if i want to change my dinner all right i don't want to eat this item today i will eat something else i'll not i'll eat pizza i'm not going to have chapati today i'll have rice not chapati or i'll have pasta something else i have the options but in our deeds no option at all whatever i have done i have to eat have to it's not need to it's not an option have to so make sure if we are thinking while doing one or two good deeds we can wash our bad deeds jampur bad khare kalank then we are on the wrong path aap bhi jaate hi khao whatever we are doing whatever we are sowing we will reap it and one more thing there is a relation between actions and habits so whatever we are sowing make sure to change our actions because whenever we are performing something that becomes our habit habit means that becomes so natural we don't feel like doing bad according to research laziness sleep and hunger are the three basic things that we can change so quickly if i sleep by 10 and wake up by 4 for 3 days if i start waking up by 3 am for 3 or 4 days it could be difficult then it will become my habit i'll be habitual for it the same way whenever we perform something bad if we don't correct it if we don't feel it if we don't regret on it and if we don't change it that becomes our habit and regretting is also becomes our habit sometimes people become so abusive and then they sorry again abused sorry abusive sorry that becomes the part of the habit abusive and sorry that covers but actually that doesn't so we must focus on our actions try to avoid our bad habits bad actions bad actions can be changed with the good act- actions only otherwise it's not possible until unless we don't have any other option we cannot change it and it's possible if we change our actions our habits will change so completely and 100% it's depend on our actions whatever we are doing that becomes closeness or far with the people with the lot so make sure be polite karmi apo apne these are my actions these are what i am showing ke neda ke dur i can be close to god i can be far from lot both things are possible but everything will be decided on the based whatever i am showing i will reap the same whatever are my actions i'll get the same so make sure we remember whatever we want in our life start giving those things to other people if you want respect give respect if you want happiness in your life create some happiness in 
someone else's life and try to perform more and more good actions. And if you want peace in your life, and the key thing is reciting the name of the Lord. Going to religious places, understanding our things, understanding what we are doing, and whatever we are sowing, we are going to reap it. So we must start sowing something good. In the nature, we cannot sow anything on every place. As sandalwood, that is just we can get in Karnataka, part of India. But in other states, we cannot get sandalwood. It's not possible because the field of that area, that specific area, where they are able to get sandalwoods. But in this field, we can get sandalwood, we can get fragrance on the name of the Lord. So make sure whatever we are doing, that brings some happiness, that brings some respect, that brings some peace. This is much, much important until unless we don't understand it, it will not help us. So before performing or while performing any action, make sure ape beach, ape hi khao. So whatever we are going to do, whatever we are doing, we will get the same. So make sure to perform much more. Whenever we get a chance, don't delay. Well, if you get a chance to perform good thing, delay if you need to perform bad thing all. So delay if something bad is about to happen, but in good, try to perform it immediately. So may God bless us all and make we all can take care about this and so that we can work and we can think whenever we are going to do something in our life. May God bless us all. Now I request you entire Sangha. Definitely you would be having many thoughts or questions or feedback or any personal experience related to your life. So I would request you don't be shy. Kindly share it with all of us so that we all can get some benefit from your experience, from your feedback. So now I request to the Sangat, kindly share your point of view. Thank you very much for your precious time. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Ji. Haji, you can unmute yourself. So. Any Sangat member who would like to share or add something to Hanji? Hanji Kartachi, you are unmuted. Vaigri Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigri Ji Ki Fateh Master Ji. Vaigri Ji Ki Fateh Ji. Very beautiful proverb. I remember learning it during my teenage years in school. We had a book called First Aid in English. And there were about three pages of proverbs. Okay. But at that time, we couldn't really understand the reality of the proverb. Okay. Because we read, we do our exams, and that's it. Out it goes of our mind. But exactly. at this age, we understand the meaning of each proverb, what it says. And today I was actually wondering, how are you going to connect this with Bani? But it was wonderful. You explained very well, well understood. And I just have a little bit to say, during the youth, we are very playful. We play tricks and we like to tease people. We say things about people. And as we grow up, we want to get a job. We step on other people. And sometimes we gossip about people. And sometimes that gossip can lead to a lot of problems in their life. We don't realize all this and we don't remember our proverbs. But this is something I hear nowadays from my clients. When they reach 50, they turn over new leaf. Suddenly, they become the goody two-shoes. 
they are praying, they are doing seva, they are trying to be kind and humble. And then down the road, some of them fall sick, some become bedridden, some become financially unstable, or some even get involved in accidents. Oh. And then what happens? When I visit them, they will tell me, Meta in ni seva kardinya, Meta in na paat kardai, Pher vi mere na litra hunda, Kyo, Kyo rab itra karda. So when you ask them, Ajkal tusi baut seva kardai, Par jawani vich tusi ki ki ta si. And then comes out the story of what happened, how they treat their children. And when you brought this subject today, and I was thinking this is something I should share. Because during Apni Jawani Devichna, we do a lot of things which we don't remember. That is the time we are sowing our seeds. And at 50, 60, 70, you are getting the fruits of your labor. But what happened? I like the part where you said, we forget. Nature does not forget. Because we forgot what we did at that age. Nature did not forget. And he is giving it back to you now. So that is karma, right? What we are doing now is now for the present. Because we turn over a new leaf. But yes. what we did at that time. How many people you have backstabbed? How many people's money you have taken and not returned? How many ardasa you have made that I will do this, I will do that, but you never follow up? So all these things, I feel it comes back. It is the truth. In fact, all proverbs are based on truth, I think, and common sense. It has happened. That's why a proverb came up. Right? I feel it is that. The author must know that something has happened. That's why he was willing to write about these proverbs. It's very interesting. Proverbs are really very interesting. So exactly. that is a tough lesson in late life. If during the younger days we had done good, today we will be living a life of goodness too. But today we are going through so much misery and problems. Don't blame anybody. It's what you did and what you are facing it. That is what I learned. I feel that. And I've understood and I've seen it with my life, with, with my eyes. It's a tough lesson in life, but that is what we reap and that is karma. What goes wrong comes wrong. It was a beautiful lesson. I like the picture of karma that you put everybody throwing water on each other. It shows well explained with the proverb. A beautiful lesson. Thank you very much, Master Ji. Thank you very much, Kartaj. You always share your personal experience and which is very helpful for all of us. So I really appreciate your contribution, Kartaj. Thank you very much. Thank you, Master Ji. Thank you. Any other Sangat member? So would love to hear from you. Anyone or everyone. So don't be shy. Kindly share your experiences with all of us. Any Sangat member? You can speak in Hindi, Punjabi, English. Hanji, anyone? Hanji Kuldeep Ji, would you like to share something? Today is like an exercise going through proverbs and the young childhood and the and uh, listening to Qatar, and you know, we are kind of reminded of a lot of things. You know, in the end, as you can say, big big mange amrit dekho So it's a timely reminder, although very late in age. <laughs> Problem is that when we are young, we are very impulsive. Mm -hmm. Conscience nahi hundi, responsibility kaate hundi hai gye, and we don't realize the consequences. And when we are a bit older, when we go through difficulties and problems, 
Then we begin to sit down and we think, yes, every action has a reaction, you know, and it can be far reaching reactions. As you were telling us about this, uh, I was thinking about the, you know, as you so, so do you reap and the long chain of actions and reactions that can result from one uh, wrong thing or a wrong word. I was thinking of uh, when Pearl Harbor got bombed by the Japanese, uh, by the Japanese. The America responded with the two atomic bombs. Mm-hmm. Now that reaction, I suppose, you know, I don't know where was, you know, who was right, who was wrong. But those two bombs up to today, after how many years now? 60? Yeah, yes, more than 60 years. We are still having repercussions from that. So anything we do can have very, very far-reaching consequences, positive consequences, negative consequences. So it's a timely reminder, you know. The problem is that we are driven by impulses. We are, and these impulses are driven by our emotions. And here, Gurbani gives us that check. Check our emotions, check our impulses, check our five vices. And at the same time, we should have a conscience. You know, if we don't have a conscience, then we will never realize our mistakes, our problems we create. Neither can we control our impulses. Exactly. So, yes. We have the freedom, as you said, we have the freedom. We have the full freedom as human beings to do whatever we want, say whatever we want. Again, the choice is ours. What kind of choice we make with this given freedom? So we have to make our choices very, very uh, prudently, very carefully, Words must be chosen. We have to take responsibility of our words, take responsibility of our actions. Otherwise, they can have far-reaching, hopefully, good consequences and not bad consequences. You know, Mistakes happen along the way when you know, children were being brought up. And later, the repercussion is that in old age, when you need help from them, when you need their love, you need their care, they're not around you. So, everything has an, you know, every action has a reaction, whether late or early. I think these are just timely reminders for us. You know, that we should make our choices very carefully. We should make our choices very prudently. And we have to take responsibility of whatever we say or do. So nice, good reminders. And uh, one more thing which just came to my mind as another last uh, thought. One good deed deserves another. So why don't we, you know, fill up our life with... uh, good deeds, good intentions, and hopefully karma will come back and give us the same uh, results. Exactly. So Gurbani is just full of these kind of uh, little, little tips and advice. In fact, Gurbani is also full of so-called proverbs. Exactly. Which are, we can be so related to all those other language proverb, proverbs we have. They're so related and they're so apt and so beautifully done that uh, I think Gurbani is really a storehouse, a treasure trove of wonderful sikhya and wonderful uh, reminders for us to manage ourselves well and manage ourselves better. Thank you very much for sharing your feedbacks, all your experiences and contribution in today's lecture. Thank you very much, Kuldeep Ji. Yes, this is a reminder, every action, even if we say Langar Maryada started by Guru Nanak Sahib Ji with rupees 20. Chota ji action si shayad, but it is going on, going on till the time 
ਜਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਉਦੋਂ ਤੱਕ ਇਹ ਲੰਗਰ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਹੀ ਰਹਿਣਾ ਨਾ ਤਾਂ 20 ਰੁਪਏ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਸ ਸਮ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕੀਤਾ ਸੀ ਬਟ ਕੰਸੀਕਵੈਂਸਿਸ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਟੀ ਸਟਿਲ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਸੋ एवरीथिंग मैटर्स सो थैंक यू वेरी मच कुलदीप जी हां जी मोहन जी यू आर अनम्यूटेड वुड यू लाइक टू शेयर समथिंग हां जी वेरी गुड जी का खालसा वेरी जो की फतेह टू ऑल टू ऑल वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक टुडे आई हैव कम अक्रॉस दिस इन कोर्स कॉल्ड द सेवन हैबिट्स ऑफ हाईली इफेक्टिव पीपल uh by an american uh, writer called stephen covey i think many of us would have come across his book the law of harvest he calls it the law of harvest and um i also have come across this law of harvest uh, uh about uh, uh, even in christian uh, literature because they also talk about what you sow you will reap uh so it's very interesting uh there was very interesting talk that we make so many mistakes when we were younger uh only now we calm down and cool down now the thing is if this lesson was given to me as a young person when i was 14 years old 15 years old i would have saved myself from so many mistakes that i made so it slowly comes back to my same uh, major point is that we are hitting the audience at a very senior age uh we are we are i'm still uh, uh, talking to one gurdwara here and trying to see how to reach the uh uh younger generation because uh, uh it is uh the other concern is that a time will come in uh, our sikh history uh, when our gurdwaras may have to be sold because uh, uh right in uk <clears throat> i went to uk i find the same problem in the sense that the people who are coming to the darbar are mainly senior people the younger people are not there uh they try to get the younger people in fact when i went to the langar hall there were two sections one was for seniors one for for juniors on the junior side they had uh, uh, all the western things like potato chips uh, uh what do you call uh, oh. uh fish uh, like chips chips for young people uh they had like western kind of vegetarian food try to attract younger people to come uh they also struggling in fact not oh. only the sikh religion is struggling in fact all other religions are also struggling this age of young people uh, are a little bit disillusion with uh, with the thing but it's a very good topic very good topic i pray that uh, you can bring it down uh, in your other sessions with the younger people uh, the law of harvest thank you so much you very well presented and i like all your graphics you have done a lot of effort to get relevant graphics to put the picture to 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 sort of put it across to us thank you so much thank you very much for your appreciation and for your words yes even our idea is to bring youth with us to connect youth so that they can have the same message you know earlier age we are putting some efforts here so i hope we all must try our efforts we must all must try so that we can bring some youth in our religious organizations in our gurdwaras in our religious activities so that we all can get benefit so thank you very much mohan ji han ji any other sangat member who wants to add or share or any experience if someone wants to add or share something han ji हां जी गर्मीत जी हां जी अमर जी जी यू आर अनम्यूटेड वाय गुड जी का खालसा वाय गुड जी की फतेह जी एवरीवन नमस्ते जी आई यू 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 एक्सप्लेन सो वेल आई वाज लाइक सो एक्साइटेड हियरिंग यू थ्रू एंड यू लेफ्ट नो स्टोन अनटर्न ऑल यू कवर्ड एवरी एंगल ऑफ इट आई थिंक इट्स अमेजिंग एंड आई आई वाज लाइक वंडरिंग या इट्स ऑल अबाउट हैबिट्स and i like the graphic that you shared about some everyone throwing something else to else house house and i was another picture came to my mind instead of we throwing to other people house rubbish garbage or whatever like wrong wrong doings and all that why don't we like a long spoon can you feed a long spoon to ourselves we can't we can I, there's a there's a graphic as well but I, i don't have it with me where you take this spoon the long spoon you feed your neighbor 
or another needy person because you can't feed yourself na so like just like nature nature gives nature creates fruits not for themselves to consume but to give to society what rivers carry water not for them to consume but for us to live through what for us to use it and nature as well so another thing was a uh, it was amazing i really love your graphics and all that and uh, and you you shared one pankti with karmi apo apni ke nede ke dur i was like i don't know the thought just came to my mind karmi is a deed a deed done externally but there is also a deed done internally as well, within us as well so whether that deed is good positive or negative is up to us so if we have always supported the negative deed that's also we will get closer to the negative one karmi apo apni ke nere ke dur that deed is also a karmi you know within us so who you are test that deed some that external deed is to show people but may, what i am doing i should know whether am i my meri niyat ki hai is my intent to show people or is my need is to change myself for the betterment and many sangha member mention that uh, it's it's age very age but in gurbani if you look at it we have very young gurus which are 5 years old we got very old guru which is 70 years old i think age is not a limit age is just a, a excuse that we always give to ourselves i think you you do what you need to do best and let the creator do what he needs to do i think that's why i felt like saying but uh because we are not here to change the world we are here to change ourselves first if we can change myself then the world will be a better place to live in like guru nanak guru nanak had the five uh, three pillars of uh, sikhism uh, naam japo kirat karo and one day go have we even using the three pillars for ourselves you know so before we can want to change our neighbors i think it's good to change ourselves first so i think everything everything else will fall in place because the creator does everything he knows everything he's watching watching everything i think he's far but he's very near <laughs> that's why i want to say thank you very much my guru ji ka khalsa khalsa my guru ji ke fate thank you very much for sharing your knowledge and uh, sharing your examples with all of us thank you very much for your contribution Am- amarjit ji han ji any other sangat member who wants to share or add something ji anyone Okay, so I request you all kindly unmute yourself. And before we uh, end up today's section, just one announcement: we are going to have one in-person samvad program on twenty-third of October this month, special on Guru Manyogran. So here we want more youth and as well more sangat. So whoever are from Singapore, or if you have any plan to visit Singapore, so you may plan accordingly. We have a special program on twenty third of October in person samvad program about Guru Manyo Granth. So if you have any questions, any doubts about or anything, if you have in your mind, so we can have. We are going to have interactive session with Sangat. So now I request you all kindly unmute yourself so we all can say Guru Fate all together and. गुरु साहब सारे नु चढ़ दी कला बख्शन जी लेट्स से ऑल टुगेदर काइंडली अनम्यूट वाहे गुरु जी खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह जी थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर जॉइनिंग थैंक यू थैंक यू मास्टर जी थैंक यू मास्टर थैंक यू वेरी मच